Hello and uh, welcome to this week's Bloggers Weekly. We're here today with Sam Zorde, a uh, fanatic in blogging about the BBC industry. He today is going to highlight some uh, facts that have popped up in the news, such as uh, the Frozen Planet scandal of uh, <laughs> the polar bear being filmed in a German zoo. Do you want to highlight on this, Sam, for us? Yeah, well, um, the polar bears scene, the bit where the polar bear was giving birth, was in fact a fake. It was actually filmed in a German zoo and not in the Antarctic. <laughs> but, obviously, somebody who isn't familiar with uh, documentaries will find this is appalling, obviously, <laughs> but it happens a lot. I mean, we get over it. I mean, if you watch the show, you'd admit that it was absolutely extraordinary program with that brilliant scene. I mean, has it ever been caught on camera before? I don't know, especially in the wild. I don't know, but we all believed it at the time, whether it wasn't true, like, but... You do feel a bit silly, don't you, that you didn't believe... Yeah. That it wasn't real, because <laughs> in a real case, a polar bear would rip your head off. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, I was a bit... Uh, I don't know, I was surprised that the polar bear didn't rip their heads off when I was watching it, the crew especially, because, well, they're filming a private scene right there. I mean, I was, I was, if someone were filming my wife uh, giving birth, I would rip their head off too. Excellent point, sir. Um, obviously, as well, BBC uh, have included the Sport Person onto the year. That's right. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I believe it was filmed at Media City UK, the new, the new uh, media centre uh, in Salford Keys. Uh, a Mark Cavendish one, which I'm happy about because it's usually a boxer or, a, or, a, or an Olympian or a footballer who wins but this year it's, it's a cyclist and what a year he's had I mean he's won a lot of championships and there's no one else who could really compete to with that this year and whether you watched it I don't know whether you watched it or not but the the, the new studios up there are absolutely unbelievable I mean the I, I was actually there and there was queues going on outside and stuff. Everyone's faces were in all of the new media centre, the Salford Keys. Uh, well, along with me, yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, I'm going to shy away from that as well. Now, um, we've got to talk about the changes in BBC. I mean, when it started off with BBC iPlayer, 4OD, all of that, we're talking about Channel 4, how being top of the game I mean they had misfits yeah, shameless yeah, yeah. They had the, I mean, Channel they had... 4 have been at the top for a long time but whether they're still at the top is entirely up to the viewer but recently I believe the BBC have put on some unbelievable shows like Sherlock and, and Public Enemies which has really uh, been a good thing to watch on the BBC this, this year and last year but like you said, 4OD, uh, four, um, Channel 4 was right at the top. BBC, Sherlock was an unbelievable drama. I mean, BBC don't usually put good detective dramas on. They're usually just uh, a good cop, bad cop kind of thing. Uh, but this was pretty good. I mean, it, it has all the elements of a contemporary drama mixed with the um, the themes of the original novels by... Arthur Conan Doyle, and unlike the film with uh, Jude Law and um, Robert, Downey Robert, Jr. Robert Downey Jr., yeah, which didn't really use some of the uh, themes in the original books. Well, it was, it was Guy Ritchie who directed it, wasn't yeah, it? But, uh, right. I, I understand there was a, a huge Hollywood cinema influence, which is slightly disappointing. Yeah, I mean, I like Guy Ritchie's films are a bit, they're all similar. There was a lot of twists in it, and I was, it was pretty good. I mean, I liked it, I enjoyed it, but if you read the novels, the nothing like the actual Sherlock Holmes movie. Well, here, in, well, in the BBC and in, in Britain and stuff, we have a lot of excellent, excellent writers out there. I mean, yeah, completely cool. unparalleled to Hollywood cinema. Yeah, uh, well, Hollywood really. The, all the films are really big budget and in the BBC we don't have that big budget but um, 
I believe a good drama is based on the writing and the acting. And Martin Freeman and Benedict Cumberbatch were absolutely unbelievable together in Sherlock. And the writing's extraordinary. I mean, I've not seen many like it for a long time. Uh, other film, other programmes like uh, Public Enemies as well, which brings, really brings out the best in the actress and actor, especially uh, Anna Friel, who's unbelievable in that TV show, as well as Daniel Mays. He's pretty good. I really enjoyed Public Enemies, and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the end of it because I'm on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> you've, uh, I've not actually seen it myself, but you've sold it to me. Yeah. As soon as I finish here, I'm going to get on BBC Ah, uh, I'm glad I sold it to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Public Enemies might give me a job next year. <laughs> if there is a second series. out there. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have for you, Clownis, Mr okay, Zoddy. Yes, Thank fine. you very much. Uh, we'll see you next week when we have um, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook on here. He won't really be here. <laughs> <laughs>